So chapter 1.1 is on the sets of numbers. And the two, the first two sets that you have to worry about are real numbers and imaginary numbers. Real numbers are numbers that have a value on the number line. So you will have numbers such as 1 or pi or 7 eighths. Imaginary numbers are square roots of negative numbers. So examples are the square root of negative 9 and the square root of negative 5, which are not real numbers. However, these, the real and imaginary numbers fall beneath complex numbers. And complex numbers are at the top of the number hierarchy. And complex numbers are any number that can be expressed in a over b form. And so you have the archetype of complex numbers, examples such as 5 plus 2i or 7 minus 4i. And if you remember, i equals the square root of negative 1. Um, however, you can have real numbers such as pi that can be expressed as complex numbers. So you can do pi plus 0i. And the same goes for complex numbers such as, as we saw before, square root of negative, negative 9 can be written as 3i, which can equal 0 plus 3i, so that in that way it can be expressed as a complex number. You have real and imaginary numbers. And real numbers can be broken down further. So first you have negative numbers, 0, and positive numbers. Negative 5, negative 3 halves, 0 is obviously 0, and positives, you'll have the opposites of the negatives, so 3, 7 eighths. And those are your breakdown of the real numbers. And now, real numbers break down further into rational numbers and irrational numbers. And rational numbers are any real number that can be expressed in A over B form. And so basically what I'm saying is any number that can be expressed as a ratio between two different numbers. So numbers such as 3 can be written as 3 over 1. And you have your fractions of 4 over 7 and the rest. And even decimals such as 0 0.6667 7 can be written as 2 over 3. However, irrational numbers cannot be put into A over B form. So numbers such as the square root of 5 and pi are irrational. Next, we have the irrational numbers, which break down into radicals and transcendentals. Radicals are non-perfect roots of integers. So you have non-perfect roots, so such as root 5 and root 2. Transcendentals, however, cannot be expressed as roots. So you have numbers such as pi and e. Next, the rational numbers break down even further. So the rational numbers go into non-integers and integers. Non-integers are your fractions and decimals, which are essentially the same thing. So you have numbers such as 4 fifths and 2, two and 7 eighths. Integers, however, are the whole numbers and their opposites. So you have numbers such as 9, negative 100. So all of the whole numbers did not include fractions or decimals. And integers also break down further. Beneath integers you have your natural numbers, your digits, the even numbers, and the odd numbers. The natural numbers are the positive integers. So anything ranging from 1 to 100. Digits, however, are just the natural numbers from 0 to 9. And then even numbers, you should know, are divisible by 2. So you have 2 and then up to 4, 10, 
100. And odd numbers are not divisible by 2. So you have 3, 9, 13. And that is your, num is your sets of numbers that you need to know.